Good morning. It's Monday, September 5th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Top of Your Game, Game Over. And our scripture is Psalm chapter 2. Now then, you kings, act wisely. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with reverent fear and rejoice with trembling. Submit to God's royal son, or he will become angry and you will be destroyed in the midst of all your activities. For his anger flares up in an instant. But what joy for all who take refuge in him. The despotic president-slash-murderer of many, Saddam Hussein, is long gone from the world's political stage, having been chased from his leadership of Iraq into hiding and eventually pulled from his hiding hole. He was tried, convicted, and executed by hanging. He did not, as the psalmist cautioned leaders to do, act wisely. He had no fear of God. He viewed himself as being in charge, and for a brief nine years, his murderous regime seemed to be so. The collapse in 2003 once again reminded us all that every created thing is subject to God's will. No matter how high the top of your game may be, God has set the time of your game over, and there is nothing to top that. The psalmist set down for us all the means of a leader to be honorable and end well, and that is to serve the Lord with reverent fear and rejoice with trembling. Whether you're president of the United States or the elected dog catcher in the smallest of towns, there's always one to whom you report, besides the electorate or whatever checks and balances are in place, And that is He who created us and decides if we live or die. In an age where personal sovereignty is worshipped, it would be prudent to remember God's sovereignty is above all. In just a few years, those under 20 will hardly remember the name of Saddam Hussein or Joe Biden or Donald Trump or any of the other newsmakers of the current time. That is regrettable, as forgetting the mistakes of the past are surety of repeating them in the future. For you today, rather than gloat or wail over political outcomes, depending on whether or not you voted for those who fail or succeed, it's a better practice to reflect on our part in this process. Just as it is incumbent on our leaders to serve with reverent fear of God, it's the same reverent fear we who put others in office must serve. We are tempted to opt out of responsibility quickly in one of many ways. We could say, well, I'm just one person. What could I have done? Or I voted for the other guy. Or it's his problem. I've got enough to worry about. Now those may all be true to some degree, but one thing remains for the Christian believer. Did I pray? Do I honestly, fervently, and consistently lift up the leaders who make governing choices in my name? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.